It's Deliciously Ugly and Australian today on Walking the Candy Isle. Hey everyone, Jeff here, and today I have a review for the Australian version of Cadbury's Picnic Bar. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you might recall that, um, when was it? I don't know, maybe a year ago I did a bunch of reviews of UK chocolates and candies. One of them being, one of the first ones I did, being the UK version of Picnic, which, um, being a Canadian, I had never had before. But now I have my hands on the Australian version of that same bar, and it is actually different, which is why I'm bothering to do a review. Um, so here's the picnic bar. According to the, uh, look at that explosion of oh, peanuts, crazy, huh? According to the package, it's a unique combination of peanuts, wafer, caramel, Rice Krispies covered in Cadbury's milk chocolate. That's right. Now, what's the UK bar? The UK bar is like, um, oh, I don't know what it was. <laughs> it was some crazy slogan like, a fistful of peanuts, <laughs> um, you know, caramel, nougat, raisins. Yes, raisins. Raisins are actually the main thing that differentiates this from the UK bar, at least as far as I could tell according to internet. Although, this one looks like it has significant amounts of wafer in it, which the uh, UK one did not. Um, if anyone's really interested now or at the end of this video, uh, feel free to go have a look at that other review I did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be an interesting comparative. I will say I did like the other bar. I was surprised at how much I liked it considering what a mishmash of uh, stuff it was and uh, I gave it a 4 out of 5. So I'm excited for the Australian picnic and I'm looking forward to good things from this. I will say in Australia they love their picnic bars. Cadbury's done really well with a picnic in Australia and New Zealand. There are like a ton of different skews of this bar. I think, what did I see on the internet? There's, so this is kind of like the peanut version. There's almond, there's rocky road which is with marshmallows and gumdrops. There's uh, fruit and nut. There's, um, oh, what else is there? What else is there? There were two more versions of it. Uh, biscuit was, uh, no, they called it hedgehog, which is with biscuit. And there's, oh, the other one is honeycomb. It's got pieces of honeycomb in it, like honeycomb toffee. Very interesting um, that, uh, that it would do so well there. But who knows the vagaries of specific markets, you know? So let's see, picnic. There's the picnic bar. Uh, I don't even know if they use that deliciously ugly slogan, which I said at the beginning. That is what they use the slogan they use on the UK bar. But uh, maybe they don't use that in Australia. And it actually looks pretty different than the Australian one, than the UK one. I mean, it's it's still bumpy lumpy, but um, it's not as big, not quite as big. Um, and it's not quite as just out there. Let's uh, let's give it a try, huh? The end's really flat too, right? It's kind of weird. It's just they, maybe they just ch 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 chop it off when they're on the conveyor belts. Let's give this a shot. Whoa. Hmm. Well, that's different. Look at those wafers. That's not messing around, huh? This bar, I wonder if because it's come to me to Canada from Australia, but I'll say this, it feels dried out <clears throat> a little. It's hard to say that when it's getting a little melty, but I don't know. Is it supposed to be so, um, like these wafers are really crispy and, hold on. No. I wonder if this is, this is a bar that's, um, gone off its game. Because the caramel's good, but it's a little hardened. The wafers feel a little um, too crispy. 
So, I don't know what to do exactly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this review, but I'm going to let you know that this is maybe, this bar may be off. Maybe this is exactly how it's supposed to taste. I can't tell you. Why don't you guys tell me in the comments below? But um, I'm not a fan. I'm really not a fan. The, uh, the caramel on the outside there, too hard. The peanuts and the chocolate aren't mixing in with it. And these wafers are just like, they're not brittle. They're just, they're too like, it's like, uh, they're like cardboardy or something. There's nothing really good about them. So I'm not really a fan of the Australian picnic, which surprises me because I like Australia and I like picnics. <laughs> I had many a good picnic in Australia, in fact. But this is not one of them. So walking the candy aisle is going to unfortunately have to rate the Australian picnic bar. I'm going to rate it a one out of five. So disagree with me. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Maybe I got a bum bar. Maybe it's just, uh, you know, maybe it's gone bad. Maybe I didn't refrigerate it like Australians tend to do with their chocolate bars. Um, it was kept in a cool, dry place, as it says on the packaging. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know. Um, for my money, this is not something I would get again, and it's not something I can recommend. So, that's my take on it, but, you know, you might have another opinion. Uh, anyway, moving on. If you like this review, please let me know. I do sincerely want your comments below, especially if you have tried this bar and can give some insight into it. Um, click those links that you see on the screen. I encourage you to go check out the review for the UK version of the Picnic Bar, because I felt like that was a much better experience. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, please click that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you next time, okay? So long. Bye.